How you doing guys and welcome to another video. You're watching I'm Colin Edwards and in this video we're going to talk about the Tello drone. Now I thought the Tello had reached a peak you know and that's why I started doing like silly videos like you know the TIE Fighter and, and the, the Tello Air and stuff like that. You know I've been through all of the apps, I, I've been through all of the mods, I've been through literally everything. You, you've got to remember I had my Tello since last year February so 2018 February. I was one of the first ones to get it rinsed it everything that you could do with it i literally rinsed it so i kind of haven't used it for a long time now but there's a new app that's come out now it's been out for a couple of months now but this app is literally amazing and the tele the app is called uh, tello fpv and it's by volatello it's for android only so ios users you're out of luck you should have both that's why you should have android and ios no complaining you're not missing out but anyway the, this app is just amazing so i'm just going to read off some of the, the the features which stood out to me it's got so many features, but I'm not going to cover everything. So you've got things like return to home, which works extremely well. You can add your own um, uh, controller, uh, whether it's wired or wireless. You've got um, enhanced telemetry for distance, altitude, pitch, indicator, stuff like that. You can do panoramic photos. You can do the in a new update. They've just he's just added a VR mode as well. So if you, you if you've got a controller and you connect it, get your cheap VR headset out. You've got VR mode there. A nice FPV. You can switch from sport to to uh, fast mode. So whether you uh, sorry sport to slow mode. So whether you want to you know take photos or you want to zoom about, easy to switch over. But there's so many features in this app, guys. I mean, you've got to check it out. Now the price at the moment, I think we're looking at about four four ninety nine. I think or something like that. I'll put the link up anyway so you can check to see what it is. But the, another awesome thing is that the, that the um, the, the de developer. He's actually put a demo uh, version, so you get 10 flights in that demo version to see if you like it or not. Amazing. I think all, all devs should do that, really. Give you some sort of trial um, to see if you like it or not before you have to go through the... I mean, a, a refund is not hard, but it would be nice if you could just try a demo before you got the full app. But anyway, there's a demo out there. Go and check it out, guys. So now we're going to jump into some flights and see, uh, you know, just see what it's like and see, see what the video recording's like and uh, etc. And I'll and I will screen record my, my phone as well so you can see what, what it's like. Okay, so we're in business. So I've got the app running. So you can see on the top left here we've got the menu. So when I click the menu, you can go to things like change settings, um, video, you can add controllers in there. Um, and let's just go into video and photo settings. So you can see here we can change the video bitrate up to four megabytes per second. Um, we've got interval frame rate, we can skip corrupt frames. And we can do a H.264 stream as well, so we should get higher quality uh, um, video here. Then we've got the um, the photo settings as well, quite standard there. And I've gone for high photo quality. Um, next, we have the home button, so that's return to home. We've got the um, uh, circular, uh, uh, so we can do send the uh, tele around in a circle. We've got um, uh, a point of interest as well, and we've got hand landing. We've got a few. Um, uh, icons at the bottom at the, on the bottom row which we've got the speed we've got distance and we've got height wi-fi signal tello battery phone battery which my phone battery is low so let's hope it holds out we've got things like the vr mode on the top right here absolutely fantastic i'm not using a control pad today i'm still going to use the um i'm going to use the phone i'm, I, I'm not really a fan of the controllers whether you even though in this app you can use a wired or wireless i'm just a big fan of the um the hand controls so we're gonna stick with the hand controls on this video so first of all let's um record and then i'm gonna fly all the way down to that car down the bottom there and maybe i'll just go a bit over to the right my osmo has lost the tracking which is understandable because it's quite small now we're gonna try a return to home. So I'm gonna hit the return to home button. It's turning around. Oh, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Let's see where it comes. Let me turn the Osmo this way. Oops, it's lost the track in here. And it's come back, excellent. Right, we'll just turn the drone around, bring it over. That, that worked really well. So now I'm going to try a panoramic photo. Shot one, now it's turning. Shot two. Shot three. 
Shot four. Hello. Shot five. Shot six. And shot seven. We got any more? I oh, know that was, oh, and that's eight. So we've got eight of eight photos there. So I think that should be it now. And then it's gone back to its um, right position and it's just deactivated. So that worked well. So let's see how that photo looked. Next, we will try POI. Now, I haven't got anything to focus on the POI. So I'm just going to face it in that direction, press POI. So lock autopilot and then start. So now if I start flying, if I push the right throttle forward, it should start turning around. Yep, and then you can see it turning it by itself. Am I gonna crash? Yes, I didn't have enough distance here. <laughs> Give me one second. Guys, that was completely my fault. <laughs> I didn't have enough distance to do the POI. So you should always leave yourself enough distance. And because of that, I've just broke a prop. So I'm going to um, change the prop and then we're going to get back to this test. A few moments later. Right, so I'm clearly not enough room there. And we're going to go for another flight now. So let me take off again. It's getting a bit windy now as well. So hopefully... Hopefully the tello holds out. Right, so everything looks good. Everything looks stable so far. I'm gonna put this exposure up a little bit. Brighten it up a bit. That looks good. And you know what? I'm going to try that PO. No, actually, you know what? Let's just try a circle flight for now before I crash this bloody thing again. Right, so let me hit the circle one now. That's the second, the second button along, which is from the, home button, from the home button. So it's going to go into autopilot. And now it's doing the circle. I'm really sorry you can't see this, guys. I really need to... I'm gonna risk it and let it fly. It's coming around, nice wide circle. And it should stop here. Yep, excellent. That's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, what else can we try here? I don't want to, I'm not going to try the POI again. No, but I've got to show you it working. So let me, let me do that. I'm going to do it. Let's say the POI, I'm going to lock it on that white car that's in front and see what happens again. So another good thing I like about this app is that when you're setting the return to home, you can set the altitude as well. So if you want it to raise up a bit, then you can have it raise up and then fly back. And you can cancel the landing just by pushing up on the joystick. There's so much stuff in this app you need to delve into. Um, but let me, let's go into the, um, the POI again. And let's put the distance at... Oops. Mispressed it there. Go into POI. Oh, my, te my tail is getting battered by the wind. Getting battered by the wind. Come back. <laughs> All right, let's go back over there. Let's go back over there towards that white car. Let's find a bit of solid ground. Now I'm back at the white car. Now let's try this POI again. So set the distance. I'm going to bring it down to like two meters. Hopefully that should give me enough room clearance of the wall. So I've started it now and now I'm going to push forward. And we can see now, yeah, now the distance it's doing is not as far as before. And now it's turning, but I'm having a hard time fighting this wind. 
so I'm going to go up a bit, come forward a bit. Yeah, this wind is um, is wreaking havoc. So you know what? I'm going to stop there because I need to do I need to really do one when I've got less wind. But we've got such bad weather at the moment in in the UK that it's just impossible. So I just want to say that this app is absolutely amazing. The way that the dev has built this app, it is so polished, it? and it reminds me of the um, the Bebop Pro app. The Bebop Pro app by Michele Vagnetti. Such a well-written app that gives you a lot of features, but this one absolutely kills it. But the polish on this one, the controls, all the features, what you've got in here. Now let's go into the into the menu again, and then we can look at uh, controller settings. So there you can you've got your controller. You can scan for new controllers. You can um, uh, make the uh, on-screen controllers disappear if you want to. You can remap the buttons. Let's go back. Let's go back into the settings again. We can look at the uh, flight log as well. It tells me all of my flight logs here. We can look at um, uh, uh, tune controls. So th the good thing about it is with, with, the, with the flight log as well, is that um, when you normally, if you want to send your flight log to Rise, you have to connect it to um, uh, an I um, uh, connect it to iTunes if you're using iOS, um, and then you have to. Uh, take the, the flight data out of the app and then send it to them. With Android, it's a bit easier because you can just go into the um, into the Tello file and the Tello folder, sorry, and then download your flight log. But you can see your whole flight log here, which is just absolutely amazing. And tuning the brightness and everything here from the front screen, it kind of it's like nice, like a like a proper DJI app. Really shows you how how uh, how Rise, you know, how they went um, so skimpy on their app where this just adds so much other new features right guys i'm going to leave it there i know that was a bit of a rushed review but i really wanted to get this one out get you guys on it you can go and test it out and go in depth but i just wanted to show you the app and, and tell you that this app is amazing four pound 89 from the app store go and get it guys and uh, take care and i will see you later so there you have it guys so that was tello fpv and as you can see the app is absolutely amazing Go and try the demo. The demo's free. I'm going to put a link to the App Store. I'm not getting nothing from this, by the way. You know me. I'm just a Tello fan. Been on it for for for, for just over a year now, and uh, you know this has just brought new life back into it for me. So links in the in the, in the description. Go and check it out, and let me know what you think of this app, and also give fair feedback. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.